If there's one thing that I've learned in my 20s, it's this. I already absolutely hate the dating scene these days. Back when I was in high school, all a guy had to do was ask a girl out, and that was that. Now it's this whole formality of setting a dating profile up, hoping you find somebody to quote unquote match with, but in the back of your mind also hoping that it's not some psycho who's going to murder you and throw your body in a dumpster. I recently broke up with my ex and just wanted to enjoy the single girly type of style for a while. However, my friends had other plans for me as I received an email welcoming me to a popular dating website. Sitting up in bed, I opened the email and I scanned through everything. Yup, there was my face in my favorite sexy dress as the profile picture along with the information that only one other person could have known, my best friend Abigail. Quickly exiting the site and sending her an aggressive text message of how she did me dirty, the only response I received back was, you're welcome. I knew I couldn't stay mad at her. After all, she was the one that stood up for me when my ex left me for another girl that he had been apparently seeing behind my back. Actually, Abby was the only one who saw through his story, and she helped me through everything while I was sitting on the couch and crying and sobbing uncontrollably. That's when I got the notification on my phone from the dating app saying that I had matched with somebody. My heart fluttered as I looked through his profile. I mean, the guy was just absolutely gorgeous as far as looks were concerned. Dark hair with strands of blackish blue coursing through it sporadically, angling perfectly across his eyes, and he had very chiseling features. Absolutely fit my type for a perfect tee. The whole day and night, we messaged each other, back and forth, non-stop. I hadn't felt a connection with this guy like this since I met my ex. Talking to him was like talking to an old friend that I hadn't seen in a few years, and that was one thing that I absolutely loved about Ryland. By the time we both fell asleep messaging each other, we were making plans to arrange a date and finally meet in person. I couldn't believe this was happening. After agreeing to meet in our favorite restaurant, I noticed him sitting at a table with a singular yellow tulip beside my place. It seemed he remembered the simplest details about my favorites, my favorite flowers being one of them. That was something that made me want him even more. I knew this even before even sitting down and having dinner with him. Our eyes met across the room as he was breathtaking with a smile and it made my heart flutter nervously with anticipation. I walked over to our table and giggled quietly. There he was, right in front of me, Ryland. He was exactly who he said he was on his profile. Unfortunately, you can never tell these days with so-called online catfishing. Relief washed over me as he swept me into his arms in a big yet gentle embrace. His voice was smooth like smoke, but carried a deep cadence that could cause the earth's crust to just crumble slightly when he talked. Our first date went off without a hitch, and it was everything I had hoped for and more. It felt like Ryland and I knew each other our entire lives. And that was a trait I was looking for in a guy. I could definitely see being with somebody like him for a very long time. That was until I found out what he does for fun. One day while curled up on the couch, flipping through channels on the television, we came across breaking news from one city over. For those of you who are just tuning in, the grisly remains of another Jane Doe has been found and discovered in an abandoned lot near Ritter Sports Bar and Grill. Her body was dismembered with a surgical precision. Her face slashed from ear to ear, creating a Black Dahlia-esque smile. All of her vital organs except for her large and small intestines were removed and sliced with a very sharp object, possibly a scalpel. Whoever is doing this crime to these women of our city must be stopped at all costs. For the ladies out there listening to this broadcast, be especially careful 
if you have to travel alone. Always use a buddy system until this monster has been caught. Back to you, Jim. Rylan turned off the TV and flipped the remote around in his hand, nonchalantly. Jesus, the city is falling apart at the seams, isn't it, baby doll? Yeah, no kidding. Those poor women. I wonder why he targets women specifically. I slumped over, back against the couch, and pondered. Not to sound like a pig, darling, but women are easy to overcome and scare. Even the heaviest chick can be distracted by a chiseled Greek god of a guy just for complimenting her on how beautiful she looks. I gave him a curious look, but knew in the back of my mind he was right to a certain extent. As a female who can't resist a good-looking guy myself, I can see why these Jane Doe's could fall for someone like that. Just one of the oldest tricks in the book. Honestly, I... I could myself do it. And that's what scares me. I like to think and say that I'm an independent woman on my own. But what if I were one of those women in those shoes? Could I possibly be the next murder Jane Doe? The thought that absolutely sent me into shivers down my spine, causing my hair to nape on the back of my neck to rise. Rylan gets up off the couch and makes his way to the kitchen as I glance at my phone. Rylan returns with two glasses of wine and playful glint in his eye. There you go, beautiful. This'll take the edge off. My unease intensifies. Actually, Rylan, maybe I should go. This whole thing... I gesture vaguely to the silent TV. Nonsense, he coos, setting his glass on the coffee table. We can forget all about that tonight. He reaches for my hand, but I pull away. The news report replays in my mind. The images of dismembered Jane Doe, a horrifying counterpoint of Ryland's handsome fake hate. Ryland, I force the words out. Tell the truth about the victims, about your work. His smile falters for a fleeting moment, a flicker of something dark in his eyes. Then the charm returns, a touch to practice. Work, whatever could you mean, darling? Don't play dumb. I snap my voice, shaking but firm. The news report, the way you talk about women, he sighs. A theoretical display of expiration. Look, some things are just better left unsaid. Trust me, you don't want to know. But I do want to know. The horrifying truth hangs heavy in the air. A silent accusation. Taking a deep breath, I stare at him. Ryland, are you... The question hangs unfinished. He doesn't need to answer. The chilling realization dawns on me like a nightmare come true. The perfect match. The charming stranger. The man who remembered my favorite flowers. All a meticulous, crafted persona just to lure unsuspecting victims. My heart pounds against my ribs. A trapped bird desperate to escape. Ryland's smile widens, slow and predatory. Now, now, darling. He mummers, his voice dripping with sickening sweetness. Let's not spoil the evening, shall we? The room shrinks, the air turning thick in unspoken horror. In that moment, the carefully curated world of online dating shatters. The fantasy of finding love dissolves, replaced by the stark reality of a monster in disguise. The question that lingers a heavy weight in the silence is not who Rylan is, but how many others of him lurk in the shadows, waiting for the next unsuspecting match. So, I gulped hard and afraid of what his true intentions were. What do you do with... With, with what, darling? I'm perpetually frozen in fear as his index finger glides gently along the side of my jaw before grasping it tight. They're, they're entrails. That's for me to know 
and you to never find out. I shot him a wide-eyed look and concentrated hard at him, putting a finger to my lips. Unless you really want to know. I nod, but no, I'm not going to like the answer that I was going to receive. Have you ever wondered how I've been able to afford these expensive gifts that you've received, baby? How would somebody my age possibly get their hands on things that people would have to put a second mortgage on their homes for? The luck on Ryland's face. I can't even begin to describe the fear that coursed through my body as he became the very monster I was afraid he might be. In the back of my mind, I was absolutely terrified of what he might actually do to me. And if I said the wrong thing to him, I would end up like those girls. I wanted more than anything for him to just take all of the gifts back and burn them. I just needed to get out of my house and get him out of my house before it was too late. His eyes locked into mine as he revealed to me something I knew I wasn't expecting to hear. Baby, you, uh, you remember those videos we watched a while back? The ones on YouTube about those quote-unquote mystery boxes? I couldn't find words to say, so I nodded in a response. I knew exactly what he was talking about. Those horrible, disgusting boxes people supposedly ordered off the dark web. I always thought those were just staged, because no one in their right mind would actually go through with something like that, right? Apparently I was wrong. That's when my world came crashing down. My boyfriend worked on the dark web. Now everything made sense. The secret phone calls he would take if we were out anywhere or if we were intimate in bed. His inability to stay at my place no later than 10 p.m. He was out prowling the streets, hunting these women down in the cold blood, only to harvest their organs like cattle and sell them on the black market to the highest bidder. I sucked up the last bit of courage I could to find in myself as I narrowed my eyes and scolded Grim. You know, the work that you do is completely useless. He tightened his grip around my jaw, brought his face closer to mine. Explain yourself before I lose my shit. He growled thoroughly, gritting his teeth. Have you not heard of how these million dollar companies can just 3D print vital organs using a person's DNA? This is revolutionary. It'll put the black market out of business and put you out of a job. I couldn't help but feel like this was almost literal nail to my coffin. I knew too much about him and what he did. Now I'm going to die because of this, because I fell in love with a monster that just might but you want to know something. I bit down hard on my bottom lip and forgot how to breathe. I'm not going to kill you. I let out a loud audible gasp as I stepped back, trying to understand why he was saying this. You're... You're not going to kill me? Why? Why? Because I fucking love you, that's why. Because for the first time in my adult life, I have found somebody that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Utter horror took over, as I wasn't sure if I should run into his arms and hold him tightly, or run like hell in the opposite direction out of his apartment and out of his life for good. There was something about Ryland that I found both thrilling and repulsive, but I couldn't fall out of love just that easy. I don't know why he did what he did. And in my own sick mind, maybe I wasn't meant to find him in my life. Who would have thought you could find love on the dark web? Now that I knew his secret, I couldn't leave him because I knew if I were to leave him, he would kill me. I guess that makes me guilty for harboring a fugitive, and I'm definitely going to hell for this. I love you, Ryland, and someday, if my organs do end up on the dark web, let them go to someone who needs them the most. Make a martyr in this messed up world. I... Uh, I love you too, Ryland. I... I love you too.
thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to check out the playlist on the channel. And also, make sure to comment letting me know. I've got a lot of content and a lot more just like this, so make sure to go check that out afterwards. And if you would like, make sure to check out the channel member section on the channel. I've got a whole bunch of bonus content that's either up or coming up. So just know that and other stuff on the channel like bloopers, stuff like that. Also, make sure to check out the links in the description as well, like my Twitter, Instagram, everything like that is in there, especially my Gmail, if you'd like to submit a story. But with that being said, stay safe, stay scary, and I'll see you in the next one.